G'day, I'm Sam Chan, author of Evangelism in a Skeptical World. But how can we do evangelism and apologetics in the COVID crisis where we're in isolation, talking to a screen, wearing a headset and microphone? I like to flip the question around and ask, well, how can I be Jesus? How can I still love my friends in isolation? So I've got three tips and I hope they work really well for you. Tip number one, I still catch up with my friends, even though it might have to be online. I organize virtual happy hour where I tell my friends, hey, at such a time, let's grab a snack, let's grab a drink, and we'll catch up on a video meeting. And that's been working really well. Tip number two, when we catch up, I ask my friends, how are you doing? In my book on evangelism, I talk about how there are three layers to a conversation, just like layers to an onion. On the outside layer, we have the interest layer of conversations where we talk about the weather, the weekend, the sport. In the middle, we have the values layer where we talk about our opinions. But in the center, we have the worldviews layer where we talk about what is real. What does it all mean? Is there a God? Before the COVID crisis, our conversations were stuck on the outside layer. We couldn't get people to talk about what was deep and meaningful. But now with a COVID crisis, no one wants to talk about the weather. No one wants to talk about the weekend. And there is no sport to talk about. Everyone wants to talk about what is most deep, what is most true, and what is most meaningful to them. So I simply ask my friends, how are you doing? How are you really doing? And they naturally want to talk about what is most deep and true and meaningful. Tip number three, I pray for my friends. I say to them, hey, my wife, my family, we pray every night for our friends. How can we best pray for you? Before the COVID crisis, No one wanted to talk about prayer. But now with the COVID crisis, when I mention I want to pray for my friends, they say, oh, please, could you? That would be wonderful. And the next time we catch up, I say, hey, my wife, my family, we did pray for you. How are you doing? And the conversation will naturally lead to gospel opportunities. Once again, I'm Sam Chan, and I hope these three tips work really well for you. And I hope you stay safe and well.